When Lebanese musician Yasmin Hamdan was approached by music executives offering contracts and mainstream success, if she sang in English instead of Arabic, she refused. She became a hit anyway and is now considered an icon of underground music across the Arab world. So as part of our 100 Women series, we are celebrating Yasmin's musical success by sticking to her traditional roots and adding her own twist as a modern woman. So let's have a listen to one of her singles, Summer. Yasmin is with me now here in the studio. Thank you for being with us Thank here on Impact. Me. The Guardian newspaper, very influential in terms of music, says you're the modern face of Arabic music. I just described you before as an icon. What does that all mean to you? I don't know. Um, I'm just doing what I love and I try to be, um, be sincere about my, my approach uh, to my work and, um, and um, it's, it, I kind of improvised it. When Does I it started, feel like you're a pioneer of sorts, though. I think it, when I started, when we started uh, with Zaid Hamdan, um, the, the guy I collaborated with, my friend, I collaborated with with Soap Kills. Yeah, it was the beginning of there was nothing. So eventually, we started, uh, we initiated lots of things and a kind of an underground movement. We were kind of centralizing this underground movement, and in fact, yes, um, I. I was very, uh, I was kind of very stubborn about the fact that I wanted to sing in Arabic because um, I've, I was, I discovered Arabic music um, really later uh, and, and then I started to be passionate about it and I wanted to deconstruct it and, and sing it my way. So yeah, it's, it's kind of improvised all of this. And do you think it's important for young people, particularly listening to your music, that they, they hear your message and they hear you in Arabic? I think it's, I mean, it's important for me, yes, because I'm, I've been trying to also to work through my music, uh, to go through, to do a lot of liberate, liberate to liberate myself also, and, and, and in a way to work on myself, what I want to get from my culture and what I, and how I work on it. So. I guess a lot of young people are searching also, are trying to um, um, live or be themselves inside of a society or, you know, coded society values, etc. And they, they search for people that can inspire them to go through, uh, to find their own uh, way. And is that even more important at the moment when parts of the Arab world have been through such an upheaval or continue to be? going through that upheaval? I think it's, it, it's important anyway. I think it's important anyway. Me as, an, as a woman, as an, as an Arabic woman artist, I think I have a responsibility. I, 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 I'm really aware of <coughs> my place and what I have to, how I, I mean, what I have to fight for somehow. And I think it's always important. So why um, do you choose not to live in Beirut now? I mean, you've lived in many different places, but you've been in Paris for so long. Um, for me, Paris is convenient, and I love the city. And uh, and I'm also I wanted to have a, um, a wider um, place to stay in. Um, I like to be anonymous too. Somehow, I mean, Beirut is great. It's quite small, and it's uh, like everything is very close. It's like there's this proximity, and I needed to breathe somehow. Is it hard um, though to be an observer? from so far away in Paris of what's going on back Yes, home. it's very, it's, for me it's a freedom that I, for me also it's, I'm freer when I'm outside and I can take some choices even in my work, especially in my work. I do some choices, etc. And I, I, I like this space, this free space that I have when I'm in Paris. It's interesting because here you are, we're calling you an icon of sort of underground music, and yet you believe and love traditional um, Arabic music as well. You collect it. Yeah, but I, don't, I, I collect it because it's, uh, it's, a, it's a source of inspiration. And this is, I needed to be inspired by my culture and I needed to desire it. So somehow it's, it's, um, it, ha it came to me like a survival thing. I needed to have something that would blow my mind and, and, uh, and I needed to also know where I came from. And for me, this is m where I come from. 
Um, I also don't stick to tradition for sure. I, 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 I work on it, I work around it. It's like a, a, mat, um, a raw material that I work, I shape, I rework. So it's, um, yeah, it's like, um, it's, I'm, I'm kind of lucky because it's, I find it a very, like a very raw material and so many things can be done. Uh, and I have influences from everywhere. I listen to a lot of music. So I'm kind of, I live a very cosmopolitan life. I'm, I have a very mixed uh, cultural background. I, I take what I like. If I live uh, in Paris, there are some things that are really, I am very French in, in, in that sense, but I don't take everything. I'm, I, somehow I'm an insider outsider and it, it suits me. Well, Yasmin, thank you very much for coming in and thank sharing you. not only your views, but your music as well. Thank, thank you. you.